Hello guys, welcome to this new video tutorial on Python. So the goal of this video is to get some hands on on debugging in Python. So what I will be teaching you in this video is that we'll be going through a very simple code and we'll try to see how debugging can be effective to remove bugs from your code. So the example that I have taken here is a very simple example which calculates average. And there are three functions here. There is the main function which calls the main function. Main function itself has the data. It has a list. Then it calls a function calculate average and here is the average function. So the example is pretty simple. If you even run the code, it is going to run pretty smoothly. There is no issue in that. So uh, let's say I want to run this average.py. Okay. So it runs pretty well. It gives you the output that this is the output. But what if your Python code is too long? What if you want to debug the entire code? So for that, what you can do is that you can just open your project in VS code. Then you can click on this on the right hand side. You will see this debug option. So just click on this option. So it automatically it will enter the debugger. And now you see it is in the debug mode. So you can set breakpoints here. So let's say I set a breakpoint here at this point. All right. Uh, now again, I will enter the debug mode. Now you see the debugger took the code at this point because the entry point of the code is at main, right? So from here, I know that the code is going to go in this function. All right. So here are some options that the debugger provides you. One is the continue option. One is the step over that if you want to jump to some other code, let's say I want to jump from here to year to year directly I want to jump here so I can put a breakpoint here and then I can just click on this so you see that this function so you can see that this function was overridden and the debugger went to the calculate average function directly now let's see how the step in step uh, step in function works so it works one by one it will go one by one inside the function calculate something 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 now what if you want to see the values of this uh, variables so here in the right hand side if you see the panel you can see the debugger option here so click on this option here you get the option to add local variables and global variables so if you want to add let's say this variable total here and you want to monitor the value of it all the time so i will put a total here and if the value of total is changing so let's see the value of total now you see the value of total is changing on the fly so it also updates automatically as you step in one by one. It's changing, it's updating. Right. Now if I want to directly go to some other part of the code, let's say I want to go here. So I'll click on the continue option and it will directly go from here to here. So continue. Now it calculates the average here. Now I just want to see the what is the value of the total and count. So you can add it here also. Uh, let's see the count the count is six like here you can see the numbers very uh, uh, all the variable values that are used in your code even the local ones the global ones are visible all right so again we click on continue and you see the code has been executed the code is complete and we come out of the debugger automatically the average is this much so we are out of the code and you can now remove the breakpoints so debugging a python code is as simple as that in vs code so i hope that this was clear now let's try to check like if you can do the same with a jupyter notebook so jupyter notebooks are pretty much used by data scientists data analysts to work on uh, python based uh, analytics project or python based ml projects so on they are very famous very pretty popular tool among the community i have the same code here now let's try to run the same code inside the debug mode in a Jupyter notebook. So let's say I run this this way. Okay. So the execution is done here. The debugger works line by line. So if I just set the breakpoint also, it will not go to this point. In fact, you can run the execution line by line to see like what's happening. So just run the next line. So it, it went to this part of the code that is main code. All right. Then again, next line. Then here is the entry point right so after this point the code is going to again go inside the main function so let's see how where the continue takes you next time so it takes to the main now you are inside the main function then you see that there is the list and also we'll go on clicking continue continue so it took you to the average value function continue 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 and you see like execution line by line also 
uh, here you can check out the values of the variables again so i just remove this all things uh, debugger let's open the debug console all right so let's see what is there inside the numbers so numbers is the parameter that is being passed here so you see that the list is getting passed in the argument so you can check the values here too now we go on continuing it up till the point we get the final average all right and once the, you get the average it will be printed here so you see the debugging is so simple using vs code for both python files as well as jupyter notebooks so i hope that whatever i had shown you in this video is clear to you uh, if you still have doubts in debugging uh, let me know what doubts you have in the comment section below till then see you next time